Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Shafter. I'm going over some review of order of operations. The worksheet that we did was Carnegie Lesson 7.1. This page 535 through 538. I'm just going to go ahead and start and do two questions from each level. There were four different sections, and the first was level one, level two, level three, level four. And I'm going to do two questions from each level, which was what was due, level four, you had to do four questions. So I'm going to go through these. We're using order of operations, which is right down here. Just remember when you're using order of operations, we start with parentheses, then we do exponents, then we multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Let's go ahead and go through these. Uh, first things first, let's look at question number six. And as I'm looking at this, uh, we'll notice I'm going to use the focus box. I haven't used this term. We did it in class, but I didn't call it the focus box. So the focus box is where we look. Do we see any parentheses? No. Do we see any exponents? No. Do we see multiplication or division? Notice that the multiplication division is the same color. That means you do whichever one comes first. So as I see here, I see adding, then I see multiplying. So I'm going to be, use the focus box, which means I'm going to do this box only for now. So Let's go ahead and do that. If I do this, I do 13. I'm going to rewrite. 9 times 2 is going to be 18. So I'm going to rewrite this as plus 18 minus 14 divided by 2. I'm going to do the focus box again. I don't see parentheses. don't see exponents. I see division. So I'm going to put the box around it. So I have 13 plus 18. And then this turns into 7. So I'm going to put minus 7. Then I'm going to do my focus box here, 13 plus 18, and 13 plus 18 will be 31. And then I write minus 7, and then my last focus box is here, so 31 minus 7 is going to be equal to 24. And so that's my answer for number 6. Again, we just do the order of operations, which just tells me the rules for what to do first, and then what to do second, and how we can go about doing it. Let's look at number eight. Here, I don't see parentheses. I don't see exponents. Do I see multiply or divide? I see it right here, and then I see it over here. So let's actually do both of these. Eight times nine is gonna be 72, and then I put minus 29, that was 72. 30 divided by 15 is two, so I'm gonna put plus two, and then minus 15. <coughs> I see addition and subtraction, so let's do our focus box here. 72 minus 29, well, 72 minus 20 is going to be 52, and then 52 minus 9 is going to be 43. And then I rewrite the rest of the problem, plus 2 minus 15. Next focus box, 43 and 2 is 45, and I do minus 15. And I have my last focus box, 45 minus 15 is going to be 30, and that's my answer. Go ahead and look at level two. We now have some exponents that we're throwing in here, so let's go. Do we see parentheses? No. Do we see exponents? Yes. So let's do my focus box on the exponents only. And then I rewrite the whole thing. Nine plus five squared is equal to five times five, which is equal to 25. So I'm gonna write 25 instead of the box. And then we're doing minus two, and that dot means multiply. And then three squared is equal to three times three, because it's repeated multiplying, which is equal to nine. And so this is gonna be times nine. My next focus box, I don't see parentheses, I don't see any more exponents, I do see multiplication. So that's gonna be my focus box right here. So I'm gonna rewrite the whole thing, and this is gonna turn into 18. So I've got 9 plus 25 minus 18. Next thing, I have 9 plus 25, and that's going to be 34. If I do 34 minus 18, I know that 34 minus 10 is 24, and then 24 minus 8 is going to be 16. That's my final answer. Number 16, let's go through our order of operations. Do I have parentheses? No. Do I have exponents? Yes. So I'm going to put my focus box around the exponents. 
I have 11 squared and I have four cubed. So off to the side, I know that 11 squared is 11 times 11, which is 121. And I know that four cubed is four times four times four. Four times four is 16. 16 times four is 63. So now I'm gonna rewrite these. Instead of 11 squared, I write 121 minus seven times six minus, this turns into 64 divided by two. Let's go back through our order of operations. Are there parentheses? No. Is there exponents? No. Do we see multiplication or division? I see it twice. Once right here, so I put my focus box, and once right here, so I put my focus box. I'm gonna do 121 minus seven times six is 42. 64 divided by two, six divided by two is three, four divided by two is two. So now I have 121 minus 42. And if I subtract that, I get 11 minus two is nine, 11 minus four is seven. And so I have 79 minus 32. And so nine minus two is seven. And seven minus three is 47 as my answer. That was level two. Let's go on to level three. Level three, we have parentheses now. And I have to do what's inside the parentheses. So the first parentheses is here. So I have parentheses, parentheses, five times seven minus eight times four, parentheses. Parentheses. So now I got to go inside. Inside of this parentheses, I have five times seven. So this is now my focus box, and this is my focus box. Five times seven is 35. Eight times four is going to be 32. So now instead of five times seven, right in here, I'm going to write 35. And instead of eight times four, I'm going to write 32. So let's rewrite. I have parentheses, and then that parentheses five times seven turned into 35. Minus eight times four turned into 32. And I can drop my parentheses because that whole inside is done. Close my parentheses, and I have cubed minus 10. Okay, we go back to the top, start. Parentheses, do I see it? Yes, so my focus box is right here. 35 minus 32 is 3. And there's parentheses, and that was cubed, minus 10. Do I see parentheses? Yes, but there's nothing to do. Do I see exponents? Yes, 3 times 3 times 3. So this is 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, minus 10. And so then I go, do I see multiply or divide? No. Are there any more exponents? No. Are there any more parentheses? No. So I add or subtract. 27 minus 10 is 17 as my final answer. Let's look at the next one, number 24. I look at my parentheses. I see some right here. So let's go ahead and do it. I have the bigger parentheses, and inside that I have a part. So let's look at my focus box right here. So then inside that, I have 46 minus 7 times 2. So I have a focus box inside of that, which is 7 times 2 first, is 14. So now I have 46 minus 14 is equal to 32. So now this whole thing is 32. So let's rewrite it. 7 squared plus parentheses 32 divided by 2 cubed close parentheses, squared. Okay, my focus box now is inside the parentheses. Inside that parentheses, do I have any more parentheses? No. Do I have exponents? Yes. So this is my focus box. So I have 7 squared plus parentheses, 32, divided by 2 cubed is equal to 2 times 2 
times 2, which is equal to 8. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So this is 32 divided by 8, parentheses squared. Cool. Next section. Do I have parentheses? Yes. So inside that, I have division. So this is my focus box. At 7 squared plus 32 divided by 8 is 4. In parentheses, that's squared. Go back. Do I have parentheses? Yes, but there's nothing inside. Exponents? Yes, it's right here. So I have 7 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. So this is plus 16. Next, I have 7 squared, which is 7 times 7. So this turns into 49 plus 16 which is equal to my final answer of 65. That was probably the hardest one we've done so far. But again, if we just use these focus box, go down the list every single time, it'll be easy. Next one here, you need to decide what the mistake is. So if I look here, I've got parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Well, I look here, they did the parentheses first. 4 minus 2 is 2. 12 of the divide stays the same. So that's good, that's good, and they got 6. Cool. Off to this side, a different person, they did 4 minus 2, but that's not what they did. They did 12 divided by 4 and got 3, and then that was minus 2. So here, they made a mistake right here. And what they should have done is they should have done parentheses. before divide. So all you have to do is show me the mistake and explain why the mistake was there. Number 27. We look at the problem. Here they did 72 divided by 3 squared. I know that since I have PEMDAS, I should do the exponent first. So they did 3 times 3 is 9. That's what they did, and then they divided. Over here, it looks like they did 72 divided by 3 and then squared that. So their mistake was right here. And the mistake was exponents come before divided, which was 3 squared comes before divided. And the dividing part was when they did 72 divided by 3. That's not what you're supposed to do. Let's go to the next one, number 28. So we look at it. We do parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, we have multiplication and exponents. Well, exponents come before multiplication, so this should come first. Did they do 3 squared? Sorry, 2 times 2 times 2. Well, that's 8, so that's what they did first. Cool. Then parentheses goes first, and inside the parentheses, we have multiply. So they should have multiplied. Is that what they did? Yes. And then they divided. That's the answer. Cool. Let's go over here. What did they do wrong? It looks like they did 5 times 2 to get 10 and then cubed it. But we know that exponents should come before multiplying. So we should say that exponents... Um, before multiplying. Last problem. Look at the first one. What they do? Okay, we have parentheses. Inside the parentheses, they have 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. Is that what they did? Yes. After that, they had Multiplication and dividing. They multiplied 3 times 5 and got 15. They divided 6 divided by 3 and got 2. That's fine. Then they added. So this is all right. Over here, we are supposed to subtract first because it's inside the parentheses. 13 minus 8 is 5. That's good. 6, they didn't do anything else. Then we multiply. So they had 3 times 5 and they got 15. That's right. They haven't done the dividing. Then they did 15 plus 6 to get 21. 
But that's wrong because you're supposed to divide before you add. So we should have write dividing six divided by three comes before adding 15 plus six. That's not what we're doing. So that's the whole thing. You could do more than this if you wanted, but this is what's going to be graded and due for credit. Thank you so much.